This is something you've seen just repeat itself throughout history. When that empire is kind of doesn't have the strength it used to have, you say a lot of times is racking up debt on the back of that, which we see, and then at some point there is a capitulation, and you're seeing that happen now. It, it is un, indisputable that the last few weeks are showing cracks in the empire, right? I mean, it's for anyone who's paid attention, it's, it's been around for very long, but, uh, but it is, I think, the first time in my lifetime where, where parts of the world are s simply being very vocal, saying, no, just can't take this anymore. And, and I, think, I think the bully's strength in terms of being the reserve currency around the world is very futile because, you know, if China decides to drop $220 billion of, of its, uh, you know, uh, bond investments in the in U.S. market treasuries, uh, think about it. Huh? So, so this is a nation hmm, that is just approximately, it's 110 percent debt to GDP uh, ratio. So let's say that the GDP is equal to debt, right? Which basically means that 1 percent rise in uh, U.S. Uh, bond yields, 1 percent, hmm? uh, which we've seen means that the U.S. has to double, to, to, to grow 50 percent on top of the 2024 GDP growth. So the U.S. grew 2.5 percent in, in, you know, in, uh, in 2024, P predicted to grow 0.1 percent this year, so zero basically. They need to come up with, one with half of, uh, almost half of 2024's GDP growth just to pay the extra 1 percent in servicing the debt. Right. Where would that come from? It would either come from uh, a bailout of some sort or, uh, you know, it would come from U.S. taxpayers or it would come from uh, um, a, a, an angry response of the bully trying to get that from elsewhere. Okay. And, and I think what is happening, which I uh, really, really use the bully example because that's what we've seen as children, hmm? that when this power is disrupted, uh, the bully really becomes more aggressive, more annoying, okay? And, and you could see the signals that come from China around deep sea and Manus and, and so on saying, chill man, like really seriously, you know, you, prov you know, prevent uh, uh, NVIDIA from selling H100s to us, we'll do it with H80s, it's fine, we'll do it at a court, uh, 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 I mean, is it any surprise for anyone that China can do something at a tenth of the cost? Of, of America, uh, of how America would put it. And, and I think the dichotomy, the, in, the interesting shock for the whole world when Stargate is signed, $500 billion, and then a week later, R3, Deep Seek R3 comes out saying, hey, by the way, that cost us $30 million, right? It, it, it's just, you know, can we please play together? Mm -hmm. Where's the competition when everyone, everyone without exception, will get to a point in four to five years' time, probably earlier, where you plug in the wall and you borrow 400 IQ points. Right. Imagine what you or I can do with 400 IQ points. Imagine the opening of humans' abilities in terms of understanding science, neuroscience, understanding physics, understanding biology, you know, little things like alpha fold and protein folding. Hmm? You know, just think about that and the impact that has on human life. Hmm? Just think about, you know, material design that, you know, Microsoft's contributing through AI. Just think about all of those scientific breakthroughs hmm? and tell yourself, why are we competing? Hmm. Okay? Why are we competing, by the way, hmm? when in reality, if you think of the top picture, hmm? the top picture is very, very straightforward. Huh? You are how do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside 
my view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. Are going to end up in an economy sooner or later, it's just a question of time, where everything's made by the machines, where none of us have jobs, right? Where if you really understand the, economy, the way uh, you know, GDP works, 62% of the US GDP in 2024 was consumption, not production, okay? And, and if that consumption goes away, the economy collapses. So what does that mean? It means that all of us will have to find a way to survive probably through some kind of a scheme. Sadly, that sounds like socialism, hello capitalism, right? Uh, you know, basically that, that pays everyone to live. Mm? And, and, and once that happens, mm, where every one of us, because we're not valued on the jobs that we do, is paid more or less the same to sustain a wonderful life, because there's total abundance, where's the competition? W what are we competing on, okay? Basically, everyone's going to UBI, other than very few, okay? And you know what? what? How much can those very few buy? Like how many, how many private jets can you buy? So there'll be no consumption economy by definition. 100%. And there's no other way around it. There's absolutely, in, there nobody can be, argue differently. There might be, but my stupid right. mind cannot see it any other way. We are competing on something that through the act of competing on, it's, uh, is going to vanish. So capitalism dies by definition. Capital, I don't know what, I mean, how, think, how about, think about what capitalism is all about in terms of, you know, your, your labor arbitrage. It is about scarcity. But, but with, a finite number. With, with, with robotics being able to take over all of the work, with yeah. labor cost going down to theoretically zero, with energy cost, if you give me 400 IQ points more, I can harvest energy out of thin air. Energy is all about around you. Right? When you really start to think about it, huh? when, when we use different manufacturing methods to use robotics to make things anywhere in the world where there is really no need to ship anything around the world, when all of that happens, your wonderful suit would cost five cents to make right. okay? and have a zero negative impact on the environment. And when, it's fi when it costs five cents to make, hmm, Capitalism loses, I, I, either they, they continue to sell it to the rich for $50,000, but how many can the rich buy? Or they give it to the UBI, the majority, for the five cents it's made at, or for six cents, okay? And that basically disrupts that entire concept of competition. Everyone becomes equalized. And, and it's the interesting thing is, will the current system lead us to a point where everyone is equalized around fairness? Or will it kill a few billion people before it equalizes around fairness? Right. And, and I, 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 you, know, you're, you know me really well. Uh, and, and so you know, you know what I say when I'm not in front of the camera. But, but it is urgent. This is urgent. And this is not what the world is talking about. And, you know, and, and interestingly, uh, the, the American mentality still is, uh, but I, we will beat China. We have to beat China into submission. And AI is one of the methods where we can beat China. And obviously, as you can see, the race is very you know, head to head uh, with China leading sometimes and the US leading sometimes. But, but the real question is, can there be a winner? Brian, can there, can there be a winner in a world that is so highly strung on m major nuclear forces around the world? Do, do you think there is a way where the US can actually win? Reminds me of that movie War Games that we're both enough old, old enough to remember. Yeah. Where um, people don't know there's, um, maybe it was one of the first AI movies, but uh, there's a computer that's simulating nuclear war. And it's a fascinating movie, Matthew Broderick, et cetera. And in the end, it comes to the conclusion that the only way to win is not to play. Yeah, strange game. The only, it seems that the only way to win is not to play. And I, can you, I, I don't know if, if people will feel that, but I'm emotional about this because it's absolute madness. It's absolute madness. This fight right now between 100%. these superpowers. On everything, it, by the way. Right. On everything. AI is just one just of one them. Just one of them. <laughs> Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith. 
because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.